Hi, today we're going to create dynamic charts using Chart.js in WIST Webflow and using Chart.js. So it is super simple and we can only set this up in a few minutes. So first of all, you want to set up your Chart.js using the HTML embed in Webflow. Um, you can also clone the clonable in the video description and just customize the colors. So the way the Chart.js is working is you're going to load the library from Chart.js. You're going to set some style, however you like to have that, right here. And then we're going to create a div as a wrapper. We're going to create a a div with a canvas class on it and in there we add a canvas class with a height of 400 pixels. You will be able to update that height accordingly to your needs, to how your page structure is working um, within this HTML code. And then we're just closing that divs and now we need to initialize Waste API so that we can get the dynamic data to the chart JS, but most importantly, we got to set the colors of the charts so that the colors are uh, matching our theme that we have on our website uh, or on our web app, depending on where it is. And then we're setting the, the data of the chart in here. Um, and it comes from WIST variables using WIST JavaScript API. I'll be going into more details on how to use that. And then right here, we're just going to create the chart and we're going to set all the parameters for the chart. So that is the HTML embed for chart.js. And this is this part, which you will see here. Now the question is, how do we get the dynamic data in here? So I just have a variable with some dynamic data in here. Um, it can come from your database. It can come from things the user will input right now, just for simplification purposes for this video. I just hard coded this data in a variable, but it is the same process as if it were to come dynamically. You just make, need to make sure that you know what the names are because your names may change. You may call that value instead of label and you may call this value, which I call value number, depending on how you name that in your database. So you want to be mindful about that. But right now we just call this label for the weeks and the value, the number will be called value. Now we want to get an array only of the values and another one only of the numbers. So uh, actually, one only of the labels and one only of the numbers, that way around. So we're going to create an array only with the labels. Week 1, week 2, week 3, week 4, week 5, week 6, week 7. And the way we're going to do that is we're taking the original variable, we're going to use dot .map, and we're only uh, going to get the item, so the items, using item, um, that has the extension of label. So we're only to, uh, we're only getting the records that have labels. So we're only getting everything that has label, which in this case is just this weak row. So that way, since we're only going to get the objects or the items basically with the labels, we're only going to get the labels. This is where we will be rendering in chart.js this lower part in here where you will see week one, week two, and so on. Now with the numbers, sadly, it's not giving me a preview for the numbers for whatever reason. If I were to rename this to number seven and reload it, it would work. This is some sort of an error going on in WIST right here. Um, but just so that you know, um, it's supposed to show me the numbers. It's just not showing it in the preview, but it's working perfectly fine, as you can see here. Um, so I'm just going to do v.report data and the same principle as we did earlier. But now we're just going to take the values. So the numbers, which we call numbers here in this variable, but we have the values in here, which are the, the numbers in there. I know it's a bit confusing with numbers and values all the time, um, but we just, this label, of week one has a value of this number. 
And now we only want to have all those values in here where we're going to get to render the chart from in an array. And this is what we're going to do here. So now, since we have those two variables, um, one rendering the weekdays and one rendering the curve with the numbers, we, we need to get that in the embed. So what we need to do is we're going to go, first of all, on the top in here, this code in here will just initialize the chart JS. But since we need to call WIST variables in here, we need to have we, we do the weight with the numbers, so we take the numbers from the numbers variable from WIST and define it as the weight. And We have the labels and we define the labels variable as the labels in the chart. We need to access them. And the only way we can access that is using WIST's JavaScript API. So we need to do window.wist equals window.wist and then we do this function here that we're going basically to push uh, the wist object. So we're going to initialize wist in here and that way since we initialize wist in this embed we have access to all the wist data from the data store here which includes those both variables and then we can reference them using wist.data and then we do dot variable dot v dot numbers for the weight and wist.data dot v variable dot labels the labels we have here and the numbers we have here as the data to render the chart and therefore we're going to get the dynamic data in the chart in the chart js chart and if we now going to refresh we see that we have a fully dynamically rendered chart and if i now were to update some numbers in here let's this is only f four and let's do uh, 15 in here for example, we will see that when I re-render the chart, it will update the curve based on the new dynamic data. And it's sad that it's not giving me the preview here. If I were to reload it, for example, as I as you see, it would work. This is just a random issue. I don't know why it occurs in WIST um, that it's not giving me that it's, that it's giving me an undefined preview while still being able to work. It's just some issue here I'm encountering. So Nelson and Elvis, in case you see this, please uh, look into this bug I found. But yeah, this is actually how you render dynamic charts using Chart.js in WIST. It is rather simple. Um, and yeah, that that's all the magic there is. It seems to be quite complicated if you look from it from, from a distance. But actually, once you just see actually I just have to go into WIST, uh, into Webflow, add an HTML embed, put some code in there, uh, initialize WIST before I run the JavaScript part of it, then just do for the static information that would otherwise be static, just type in WIST.data dot and then the variable that will be the numbers, the values, the points for the chart, and then for the labels, just so we have names for those points. Um, just get the WIST variable using WIST.data for the labels. So we can do week one, week two, week three, whatever. And that's the whole thing. And then I just need to do some filtering in WIST just to only get the array of labels in here and to only get the array of the numbers of the values in here. And then that's it. This is how I'm going to create a dynamic rendered chart JS chart. So I really hope that this helped you and I am looking forward to seeing all the exciting stuff that you're going to build with it. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate that and have a wonderful rest of your day and happy developing.